As with any lifestyle change or physical exercise program, consult your physician before you begin your yoga practice. If you are pregnant, discuss your yoga practice with your yoga instructor. As your pregnancy progresses, you will need to modify or avoid certain poses. Move at your own pace and modify the poses as needed in order to maintain alignment and easy breathing in every pose. If you feel any discomfort, dizziness, or pain during your practice, either modify the pose so that you are comfortable or take a few moments to rest. It is very important that you listen to your body and practice yoga in the manner that is the safest and most comfortable for you. Namaste. Hello, my name is Setare. Today we are doing Kundalini Yoga for disease resistance. To avoid persistent colds and illnesses, it's essential to keep digestion and elimination functioning well, combined with a strong metabolic balance. This set develops all those capacities. It gives physical strength and builds disease resistance. We start every practice of Kundalini Yoga by chanting a mantra three times. The mantra is, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo, which means I bow to the divine wisdom, to the teacher within and without. This mantra is used to connect us to the golden chain of the teachers, to center us in the higher self, and to spiritually guide us during the class. You can chant with me or just listen. This mantra is chanted in one exhale each time. Sit cross-legged with your back straight. Rub palms of your hands together and bring them in the middle of your chest at your heart center. Now we're going to start chanting the mantra. So take a deep breath to start. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om Namo Gurudev Namo Now slowly bring your hands down and now we practice a breathing exercise which is called alternate nostril breathing. Hold the Gyan Mudra with your right hand, tip of the thumb and index finger touching. Place back of your right hand on your right knee. Close your left nostril with the thumb of the left hand. Breathing fully and gently through your right nostril. Now close your right nostril with your index finger and slowly exhale through the left nostril. Then inhale through the left nostril. Now close the left nostril with the thumb and exhale through right. Inhale through right nostril. Close the right nostril and exhale through left. Continue this pattern alternating nostrils after each inhalation. This breathing practice balances the right and left brain hemispheres and creates a deep sense of well-being. It also helps with headaches, migraines, and other stress-related symptoms. Now 
inhale through both nostrils. Exhale and relax your hands. Put them on your knees. Now start making clockwise circles from your waist up. Inhale as you rotate forward and exhale as you're going back. Now stop and make the circles in the other direction. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Inhale and come to the center. Exhale and come sit on your heels. Place your hand on your thighs. Inhale as you're bringing your chest forward and shoulders back. Exhale as you're arching your back, bringing the shoulders forward. Keep your chin parallel to the floor. Use deep, powerful breathing. Your pelvis is moving forward and back in this exercise. Inhale and sit straight. Exhale your breath and come sit on the floor with your legs straight and toes pointing up. Take a deep breath and bring your arms up. Exhale and bend forward from the waist. Make a hook with your first two fingers behind the big toe and the thumb pressing on the big toe nail. Stay in this position. Inhale and bring your body up. Exhale and bring your body down. If you can't reach your toes, grab your ankles, shins or knees. Use deep, powerful breathing. Inhale and bring your arms up. Exhale, arms down. Sit cross-legged. Bring your arms up. Grab your shoulders with your hands, thumbs in the back and other fingers in front of the shoulders. Inhale as you're twisting to the left. Exhale, twisting to the right. Your neck and head follow your chest. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, release your arms down. Now come sit on your heels. We're going to pump the stomach. Stretch the arms straight up over your head with the palms pressed together. Inhale, holding the breath in, pump your stomach by drawing in the stomach muscles towards your spine and relaxing them. Continue rhythmically until you need to exhale.
Then exhale, inhale and continue pumping your stomach while holding your breath in and exhaling when you need to. Now inhale, stretch up, exhale, bring your arms down. Stay seated on your heels, bring the left hand at the chest level, palm facing out. Bring the right hand over the left, palm facing towards you. Make a grip with your fingers. Inhale, hold the breath, and without separating the hands, try to pull them apart. Apply maximum force. Exhale when you need to. Then inhale and continue pulling on your grip while holding your breath in. Inhale and pull on your grip. Exhale, relax your hands down. Now make a Venus lock by interlocking your fingers. Left thumb over right for women and right thumb over left for men. Bring your hands behind your neck. Inhale, exhale and bend forward bringing your forehead to the ground. So you inhale as you sit up and exhale when you bend forward. Continue with powerful breathing. Inhale and sit up, exhale and release your arms down. Now sit on the ground and stretch out your legs, toes pointing up. Inhale and bring the arms up, exhale and bend forward. Grab the big toes in finger lock, which means index and middle finger. Make a hook behind the big toe and thumb presses on the nail. Lengthen the spine, bending from the waist. Remain in this position, breathing normally. Inhale and bring your arms up, stretch up, exhale, arms down. Sit cross-legged, begin gently rolling the neck in a circular motion. Hands are on your knees. Inhale as your head goes back and exhale as your chin goes to your chest. The shoulders remain relaxed. Allow your neck to gently stretch out as the head circles around.
Now stop and reverse the direction. Inhaling as the head comes forward and exhaling as it goes back. Now inhale and bring the head to the center, exhale and relax. Now come on your hands and knees. Hands are shoulder width apart and knees are hip width apart. Your hands are under shoulders. Inhale and flex the spine downward and bring the head up. Exhale and flex the spine up, bringing the chin towards the chest. Continue this movement rhythmically with powerful breathing. Keep your arms straight. Inhale and make your back flat. Exhale and come sit on your heels. Place your hands on your thighs. On the inhale, lift the left shoulder as the right shoulder goes down. On the exhale, lift the right shoulder as the left shoulder goes down. Continue rhythmically with powerful breathing. Keep the head still and neck relaxed. Inhale and lift both shoulders up. Exhale and relax them down. Now come lie on your back with your arms at the side, palms facing up. Allow your legs to fall open. Deeply relax for a few minutes. Breathe normally.
Now start slowly moving your hands, your feet. Bring your knees up and your hands behind your knees and rock on your back a few times. And next time that you come sit up and then come stand up. Bring your body into a triangle shape by placing palms of the hands and soles of the feet flat on the ground. Feet are about hip width apart. Relax the neck and head. Breathe normally in this position. Now inhale, exhale and come up standing. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale down and come bend forward. Grab your ankles with your hands. And holding on to your ankles, start walking around the room. Keep the knees as straight as possible. Now return to your place, slowly come up standing and now lie on your back and we are going to the Shavasana or final relaxation. So let your legs fall open, have your arms away from your body, palms facing up. Release your body and breathe normally, relax.
Bring your attention back to the room. Start moving your fingers, your toes. Move your hands, your feet. Bring your legs together, arms above your head. Stretch and now release. Bring your feet up. Rub the soles of your feet together, palms of your hands together to activate the 72,000 nerve endings. Now relax your feet down. Now we do cat stretch. So you bend one knee, bring it to the floor over the straight leg, one side and the other side. Bring your knees down. First rock to left and right and then place your hands behind your knees and rock forward and back. Next time that you come up, come into the sitting. Now we are doing meditation for a calm heart. This meditation improves your relationship with yourself and others. It also strengthens the lungs and heart. Come sit in easy pose with a light neck lock. It means that you bring your chin parallel to the floor. You can either close your eyes or look straight ahead with your eyes one tenth open. Place the left hand on the center of the chest at the heart center. Fingers are parallel to the floor and pointing to the right. Make Yan Mudra with the right hand, the tip of the thumb and index finger touching. Raise the right hand up to the right side, the palms facing forward. The other three fingers are pointing up. The elbow is relaxed near the side and forearm is 90 degrees to the ground. Concentrate on the flow of the breath during this meditation. Inhale slowly and deeply, then suspend the breath in and raise the chest. Hold the breath in for as long as possible. Exhale when you need to and hold the breath out as long as possible. Then inhale when you need to and hold the breath in as long as you can. Continue this pattern of breathing. Now inhale slowly and exhale. Finish your meditation by taking two more deep breaths. Then bring your hands down. Now bring your palms together. At your heart center, we close the Kundalini Yoga by chanting Sat Nam, I am truth. Take a deep breath. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. 